All right, this is 3315 North Racine Unit D, view from the entryway. Got this coat closet straight ahead with a little bit of shelving. And then you've got your living space here. It's a little tight, but you do have a separate dining area. So I think you could make it work because in the basement you have your, they're calling it the third bedroom, but it's also really your second living space. Um, so you could do, if we were gonna do it from here, you could put like a sectional with a right chaise here. So it would go like so, and you could mount a TV on the wall. They have the hookup for it there already. And then just to show you for frame of reference, so this is your front. I was just showing, I just did a video of this as well, your patio area. And then you've got this great, go up a couple of steps, you've got your dining area, room for whatever size table you would want. And then downstairs is your family room, as well as your in-unit laundry. So here's your kind of dining space, multiple entrances to the kitchen, a little built-in island here that they did. Uh, 36 inch French door refrigerator. This is all KitchenAid, which is definitely an upgrade. So there you go in the kitchen. You've got your powder room here. Okay, with a little bit of storage. And then off the back, it looks like you've got another outdoor space where they have a table here. I would, I'll ask if that's staying, uh, but really pretty, just privacy, very quiet flipping around here so you can see slowly. And then we're gonna go, let's go downstairs first so you can see the other living space because it's tight up here, but this could be maybe where you put your big couch down here. Still really bright. You've got a ton of can lights in here. Um, and there's a ton of storage. So this kind of comes around here. It could be an entertainment center area. I'm just gonna flip around so you can see how big this room is. Definitely large. And that is a huge Harry Potter closet underneath the stairs. So take a peek here. This shelving goes up and down, uh, but it goes all the way. You can put your suitcases in here. And then you've got your laundry area, front loading side by side, storage above, a nice little folding counter here to your right. And then there's a full bath down here. The only negative with the master upstairs, you also have this whole like storage area as well where your sump pump is. Ton of, you know, you can put Costco stuff in here if you need. Um, and then it looks like we also have a linen closet here. Let me turn this on. Oh, never mind. This is your HVAC. Missing a light there. I'll note that if we like this. And let's go back upstairs. Okay. So then the top floor, what I was saying, something, it's not the end of the world. Your master bedroom, your master bath has like a Jack and Jill door that goes to your second bedroom as well. Um, so it's, I mean, again, if you have guests, they can access it to go to the bathroom, uh, but there's no second bathroom on the same level as the second bedroom. So let's do the master. I opened this up so you can see how much linen closet space you have. And then this is your master. They've got sconces here, which are actually pretty nice. Bed would go in the middle with two nightstands. You could easily do a queen or a king. And then a whole wall here of closet space. They've got this double hung. You could add another bar there for more storage and then some shelving. I'm gonna go into the corner here so you can see. Oh, look, check out the lofted area. We'll go check that out next. Um, you could easily do a dresser on this wall. These windows face out your front porch. Very cool. These drapes are actually pretty nice. White and gray palette. I think you could hold on to those. Not hideous. And then really pretty bathroom. Subway tile. Not a jacuzzi tub, but it's a nice soaking tub. Double vanity. And then you've got your shower behind the door here. Okay. 
right? Toilet. And then upstairs, you've got the lofted space that's from your bedroom. So let's find a light here. This could be a good office area. We'll check this out. Or, I mean, probably do this as an office area. You could put a bed up here, but I doubt you'd want someone in your master. Um, but really nice extra space. Could put a Peloton bike up there. Uh, and then we'll go into the second bedroom last, which is right across the hall. Could definitely fit a queen size bed in here. Cool, and this face is the back, but again, pretty courtyard. And then a full wall closet space. And again, that's the Jack and Jill door to the master.